story begins in 1973 with Bob Metcalf and his team at Xerox Park Research Center. They were looking for a way for computers to share data fast and reliably. And at that time, they were inspired by AlohaNet, a Hawaiian radio-based network that sent data packets over the air. And Bob had a great idea. What if we used wires instead of radio signals, which means faster, more reliable, and less interference? Simply brilliant. And the very first development of Ethernet was created. The first versions of Ethernet used very thick coax cables and ran at 2.94 megabits per second, which is very slow by today's standards, but groundbreaking back then. And this cable was nicknamed ThickNet, which was about the width of your thumb. And the first versions were painted bright yellow so technicians could find it easily in ceilings and on floors. And just a fun fact, ThickNet required a vampire tap. And no, we are not killing any vampires. A vampire